Hey everybody, welcome back. Yes, indeed, you can be divorced and have never been married. So this is a word of warning, sort of a little video, word of advice from someone who's been there and seen that, done that. Now, I've been in family court twice because of two exes. And before you get going, I was not married. Because there's always somebody when I say that, they're like, oh, you're a moron because you got married twice. Well, wasn't married. But you don't have to be married to end up in family court. You don't have to be married to be declared married or to be declared divorced. Now, both times... In these instances, it says, in the matter of the divorce between. But we were never married. I wasn't married to these women. Never trusted them enough, quite frankly, to go that far, which was to my benefit. So, And not even common law was established, fortunately for me. Because you can be declared common law married in most states, and then you're stuck anyways. And I just did a video not too long ago discussing how I managed to avoid alimony, otherwise known as maintenance, because they don't like to use the A word anymore. They like to call it maintenance in a lot of states, because I guess it has less of a sting than alimony, even though it's just as deadly. And I'll put a link to that down below if you have not seen that video. But I ended up in basically divorce court twice, and lost custody twice. Both times there was a child involved, both times I lost custody. The first time I got custody back because it was exposed like four years later that she was abusing the kids and the court was like, oh, our bad, here, take them back. But all that aside, I ended up essentially in divorce court when they could not even establish that there was a common law marriage. You don't need to be married for the court to declare you married or to have the court consider you divorced, which implies marriage, even though you were never married in the first place. That's how it works. Mmm, delicious. It's coffee talk, folks. Coffee talk. One of many mugs. If you're new to the channel, I've got a ton of mugs I use. Just for the hell of it. What you have to understand about the law is that it does not matter what the law says. What the law says is irrelevant. How it's interpreted is what matters. It doesn't matter what it says. It matters what the judge thinks it says or what the judge wants for it to say in most cases. It matters what the judge says it means and that is very dangerous territory. If the judge says that you're married, you're married. If the judge says you're divorced, you're divorced. If the judge says the kids that aren't yours are yours, they're your kids and you're going to pay child support. Even if another guy is already paying child support for him. Did you know they could do that? <laughs> and so some woman could sit there and collect child support twice. And I hang that around women's necks because... You all know, and a lot of women will admit to this and have admitted to this on other videos that I've done on the subject, at least 80% of the time, custody is going to go to the female even if something looks like it's wrong. Even if they, the court knows something's up, something's wrong, they're still going to go ahead and go maternal anyways and then backtrack if, if things get hairy like they did in my first run with family court where they... Four years later, they sit there and say, oh, wait, we might have made a mistake because uh, it appears that the uh, children are getting, getting abused and neglected. Here's your kids back. Thanks. They're already damaged, but thanks. That's your fault. That's your fault, court. But, yeah, I mean, you do not have to be married to be declared divorced. You do not have to be married for the judge to decide that you are. You can have kids in the household if the judge decides or the social worker decides and tells the judge because a lot of times the judge doesn't make a decision the judge doesn't give a damn one way or the other and he just turns to the case manager conciliator social worker whoever and says uh what was your finding 
yeah, let's do that. Because they don't even give a damn. All right, They're not even doing their job. Bad enough that their job isn't what you think it is. And that's uh, something that I've been wanting to discuss. Like this type of video that I'm doing now, YouTube doesn't like it. YouTube does not like these types of videos. I've been given a hard time about it. My very last video, I discussed that at length about what a hard time YouTube gives certain subjects. They have programs and algorithms that search the uh, videos out. They make like a digital transcript of the video and if the program doesn't like what it sees, then you get penalized. But yeah, I mean, you can have kids that aren't yours that you got to pay for, even if someone else is paying for it. It doesn't matter. It's whatever the judge says. The judge is like a little god in his little tiny universe that is his courtroom. And whatever he says goes, and that's just too bad. And the only way that you can get it overwritten is by going over his head to another judge, to a higher court judge, if that judge wants to be bothered, which most of the time they don't, unless there's a crap ton of money involved. So just a warning. Just a warning, man. Don't be out there playing house. That's what I was doing. And it cost me. And it cost a lot of people. And I'm not telling you this so that you can feel sorry for me. And I'm not telling you this so that you can pick on me. I'm telling you this so that people that haven't been down that road, maybe they'll learn something from it. Sometimes the guy who knows everything is the guy who's made all the mistakes. And sometimes that's me. <laughs> so, hey, take it for what it's worth. Take it with a grain of salt. Take it with a bag of salt. Uh, if you get where I'm coming from, please do give the video a thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. Check out some of the other videos if you haven't. I, uh, I'll put a couple more links down below uh, to the other videos that I had mentioned. Um, and what can I say? Stay tuned, folks, because there is more to come.